So, you want to be successful on this platform? Well, it's not that easy. Don't worry, I'll tell you those ways, because I'm a good boy. I'm not going to be like those people throwing furniture into their empty pools and then lighting it on fire. I wish I could say that was fake, but it's real. Let's just get started. Way number one, how about personality? People like a person who could stand out from all the rest, just because it makes it a lot more entertaining for the viewer to watch that YouTuber just because of their own personality. Way number two, make your videos over 10 minutes. If you make your video over 10 minutes, then it will be more likely that you will be picked up by YouTube's garbage algorithm. So add some sort of trash filler content to increase the length of your video. Gotta get that ad revenue. Also, because you can place more ads on the video and then you get more money and then yeah, you 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 could you have to have a job. That's always good. Way number three, make specific types of content that won't take long to make in the first place. If you have an animation on your channel, it will be most likely buried by all the craft content on this website. Like this specific video called Joker Magic Prank Spider-Man Trumpet for Kids Song Nursery Rhyme Compilation for Kids. That's seriously a video. You go look it up. All I had to do to find that was search of Spider-Man. At least I think I did. I don't know. It was a while back. Which most was most likely made in a short amount of time and took a zero amount of effort to actually make. So the only way to pass them is to make long, poorly made videos that didn't take them long to make. And don't forget the mass upload because then you get more ways of making money. Oh my god, that's all you need in this world on YouTube. I want to die. Way number four, don't make fandom based content. If you're in a fandom like the My Little Pony, Furry, Undertale, Fire Nights at Freddy's, Sonic, or Steven Universe fandom, you are most likely going to not be able to get the most amount of viewers you possibly can, as much as other channels like gaming YouTubers back in a few years ago, I don't know when that was, or vlogging channels I guess right now, just, just because there are going to be some people who dislike their type, your types of content, so you need to fit their standards. And this kind of brings us to way number five, which is don't make opinion based content. People don't like it when your opinion is not the same as theirs, so that means one person can completely ruin your YouTube career with that opinion you had. Maybe like, you're, you're doing well in maybe 2022 maybe but since you said this in 2018 now people are gonna be mad at you so be careful because it could completely ruin your YouTube life or just life in general way number six start drama with people drama is a way to get noticed so try to start some drama with someone even if it's fake it'll still bring in those views Try to make your fake drama seem as realistic as possible. Hmm, I'll show you one right now. Hi. Hey. Um. So yeah, you smell bad, and um, you are a very clickbaity person. Hey, you want to know a joke? What? Your channel. That's a very funny joke that you made. You know, yeah. why, you, why did you make that 24 minute video that was just, just black? I don't know. I mean, you just had a bunch of ads in the video. What was the point of it? Well, yeah, by the time this is up, it's going to be deleted. But why was it there in the first place? Uh, uh, charity. Now we have some YouTube drama between each other. If that doesn't work, let's just go to way number seven, which is just clickbait. Just can't wait till people notice your videos. Just clickbait every single one of your videos and then that will 100% get you those views. Will the viewers stay? Who cares? You get a view and that's all that matters. Way number eight. Be generic. 
that's every YouTuber now. Well, in conclusion, YouTube has really gone downhill since it was made. 